All rise. The Honorable John W. Sweeney Jr. is going to preside today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful day. Please remain standing for the presentation of the colors. Much, especially to Commander Anthony Pelliccio and the Honor Guard from the American Legion Post 1080. We greatly appreciate your being here today. I'm going to ask you to please remain standing for an opening prayer by our Putnam County Sheriff, Donald Smith. Thank you, Judge Sweeney. And a thank you to our County Clerk, Michael Bartolotti, for re reinstituting this very, very special service in Putnam County. I congratulate all of our new citizens. And before we pray, I just want to remind everyone of us who inherited our birthright by being born here, that this is a ceremony where we should reinstitute our allegiance to this great nation, this great experiment in democracy, 239 years old, the United States of America, and how special it is to be a citizen here. And so as we welcome these new citizens in Putnam County and into our country's citizenship, let us reaffirm ours as well, because this is the beacon of freedom, hope, and justice throughout the entire world, the United States of America. Please pray with me. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for so many blessings for living in this great land, the United States of America. Father, today we give thanks to you and we give thanks to all those in your care, your eternal care, who gave their lives in freedom's cause so that we can be here today. We pray for those who continue to serve, the members of our armed forces, our police officers, our firefighters, and our emergency medical responders who keep us safe right here at home. Father, give them wisdom, give them courage, and help them administer justice with kindness and professional care. And Father, today we pray for all of our elected officials, our appointed officials at the village, town, county, state, and federal government. We ask that you give them wisdom and courage as well, Father. But Father, today we give special thanks and ask your blessing on these new citizens of the United States of America, who will carry the torch that our forefathers gave us in the Declaration of Independence, our founding document, and who will become part of we the people, who will make our Constitution work. And as they take their oath of office today of being a citizen, as they pledge allegiance for the first time as citizens of this country, Father, please bless them and please bless their families. And Father, we also ask your blessing on this land, the United States of America. Father, help us always do what is right and just in your sight. And please protect our citizens and help us lead the world in being the beacon of freedom, hope, and justice throughout the entire world. Father, all this we ask in the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless our new citizens. May God continue to bless all of us in this great land. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you, Sheriff Smith. Please be seated. As 
I said, welcome before. This is a truly wonderful day in Putnam County. It's a great day, not just for you, the new citizens, but it's a great day for all of us to welcome you. In this beautiful courthouse, we call the historic Putnam County Courthouse. Special thanks go to the Honorable Michael Bartolotti, our county clerk, who is Sheriff Smith just indicated is so responsible for bringing this back. A thank you also to Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, whose office was able to cut through all the red tape so that Putnam County could finally get back the naturalization ceremonies we've been waiting for how many years? Over 20. Over 20 years since we've had a naturalization ceremony here. So this is a truly a wonderful and historic day for all of us. It's indicative of how important this day is. We have a number of our, of our public officials here. I'm going to mention them. I'm going to ask if you have any applause. Please hold it till the end. I'm also going to point out that anytime someone reads a list of dignitaries, someone is always left out. And of course, as I always do when I read the list of dignitaries, I always say when that happens, blame somebody else. So, in any event, we have our state senator from the 41st district, Susan Serino, is here. Lori Noel, representing Senator Terrence Murphy of the 40th, 40th Senatorial District. Justice of the New York State Supreme Court, Victor Grossman. Justice, Acting Justice of the New York State Supreme Court and Putnam County Judge James Reitz, our county sheriff you just met, our county executive, who I'll be mentioning more in just a moment, our two election commissioners, Catherine Croft and Anthony G. Scanapico, county legislator from the town of Kent, Tony Adonizio, our commissioner of jurors, Rudy Giuliano, and did I leave anybody out? That's good. Pretty good. Anyway, we thank all of them for being here, and again, it shows the importance of this event to all of us in Putnam County for what you are going to accomplish today. And with that, it's my great pleasure to introduce our Putnam County Executive to give our welcoming remarks, the Honorable Mary Ellen Hotel. Your Honor, well, um, what a wonderful day it is today. I think each and every one of us here have a parent or a grandparent or a friend who's um, come through Ellis Island or come to this country in hopes of building a, a life and a life of love and dreams and hopes and accomplishments. And I have had the privilege years ago to have just by happenstance be in the Department of Motor Vehicle and I witnessed uh, an individual becoming an American citizen. Am I to remember that? Uh, Chris, Chris Willie, I think, was there, um, the Deputy Commissioner. And it really was an amazing moment to watch that. It's almost like uh, watching a baby being born in a certain or a baptism, or a confirmation. And to all of you, I know each of you probably have a wonderful story to tell uh, at some point in time. I'd, I'd like to meet with a few of you to understand what it was that, that drew, drew you to this process to become American citizens. There's so much talk these days about immigration and the values and, and challenges that this nation meets every day when we try to balance immigration. And uh, to all of you, I believe that you are a shining example of why the process is so important. And I know that many of you, sadly, probably know about know more about American history than some of the children these days. Um, and that, to me, is always sort of a, a, a statement that is a lesson for all of us. Um, I welcome you here today to Putnam County. Certainly, I'm proud to stand with you as Americans, as we all believe that we owe so much to not only our justice system, his honor representing that, but certainly to our election commissioners who assist and aid all of us in that very um, powerful privilege of voting. And of course, we have our veterans here, which if not for them, none of us would be in this room today. So I welcome you all on behalf of the people of Putnam County, and I wish you all well as um, you lead on your lives as proud Americans. Thank you. Now, the most significant part of our proceedings, I'm going to give up the bench so our county clerk, Michael Bartolotti, may come up and give you the administration of the oath of citizenship.
Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just going to take a few moments just to say a few words because I personally am so very excited that I was able to bring naturalization ceremonies back to Putnam County. And the bottom line is, is that for all of our candidates that are here today, our, our new citizens and their families, this day is for each of you. So I'm so very proud of you and I'm so, so very happy to provide you with this opportunity because that's what I have done. Uh, it's not about me, it's all about you. I just want to uh, say a few, few thank yous. Uh, I want to thank uh, Congressman Maloney's office for assisting me in bringing this process back. Uh, it was important to him just as it was important to me and I was, I was so glad that we were able to work together and, and get this done. Uh, thank you to the Honorable Judge Sweeney for uh, presiding over this, uh, this proceeding this morning. Uh, it means a great deal to, to have him join us here uh, to, to get this proceeding underway. I'd like to thank the staff of my office, especially uh, my secretary, Lori Policcio, and my first deputy, James McConnell, for they were instrumental in putting all of this together. And I, I just want to, before I administer the oath, I, I just want to say it's been, it's been really close to, close to 30 years to bring this back. And I think since we've last had it here to today, our population in the area has diversified and that there's really a need and I'm going to continue to do these in the future and bring as many as many of these services locally as I can to ease the burden that all of you had to go through to become citizens. I'm very lucky, many of us in this in this courtroom this morning are very lucky. We were born as American citizens. That was that was our birthright from being born here through American parents. But this is a nation of immigrants. I'm a descendant of immigrants from Italy. So many are, are from descendants from throughout the world. But for you folks, you candidates today, to make the choice to want to become American citizens, it just, it just blows me away. It really knocks my socks off and my hats off to each of you and your families for going through the effort to become American citizens. And I, and I thank you and I applaud you for that. So now, Without further ado, all of our new citizens, please rise and raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abhor all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty. Of whom or of which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution. And the laws of the United States of America and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic against all enemies, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law or that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States of the United States when required by law. Or that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by law. And that I take this obligation freely, <laughs> without any, med any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. <laughs> so help me God. <laughs> Congratulations to you. <laughs>
just very quickly, I add my congratulations to that as well. As I said, the oath of citizenship is the most significant part of this proceeding. There's a second part, though, which ties it all together, which now that you are citizens of the United States. And that is now, for the first time, as citizens joined by your fellow citizens and friends here in this courtroom, you're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by Carl Rohde, Director of Putnam County Veterans Affairs. Please rise. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I just want to share something. One of the um, new citizens, when we were handing out a copy of the Constitution Declaration, came to me and when I handed it to him with a smile, proud smile on his face, he said, in essence, he wished that he had done it when he was younger, that he's getting a little bit old. And I said, just be proud that you're a citizen. He is so very proud. Uh, this is probably one of the singular greatest honors I've ever had to lead new citizens in saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States for the first time. Will you please face the flag of the United States of America, hand your heart salute, and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, Commander Rohde. I'm going to ask you to please stay standing. Because now we're going to have a special treat led by Ms. Kayla Fust, Senior Colonel High School, our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. responsibility and that privilege. And with that, we're now going to proceed to our guest speaker today, Ms. Maria Martinez, representing Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney. Ms. Martinez. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Maria Martinez. Uh, unfortunately, Congressman Maloney couldn't be here today. He's currently in Washington, D.C., um, but he will be in the district this weekend. Um, my 
position in the office. Uh, I am the district scheduler for Congressman Maloney, and I'm also staff assistant, and it is such an honor to be here today. Um, I think that today is a really great day for Putnam County. Uh, it is an opportunity to celebrate all of your achievements, but it is also an opportunity to highlight what it means when a community comes together, and today is definitely one of those days. Um, when County Clerk Bartoloni first reached out to us at their new office, he expressed his interest in bringing back naturalization ceremonies in Putnam County uh, once again, and we thought that was a wonderful idea. It was such a, an ideal project. Um, and actually, last year, our office successfully convinced USCIS to invest resources in opening a satellite location here in the Hudson Valley. So what that means, for, um, normally applicants would have to travel to New York City for a meeting with USCIS or biometrics appointment. Now that's not necessary. We do have a USCIS satellite location in Newburgh. So that's, that's a really great accomplishment for our office and very important to the congressman as well. Now, all of you here today, you are all at the end of that long process with USCIS. And it was a really challenging process, wasn't it? But you're all here today, you're all part of history, and it is such an amazing accomplishment here today. And once, well, with Genevieve Kessler as well, she is the uh, Deputy District Director in the office, with her help, with phone calls and appeals to the New York City Director and USCIS Headquarters, we are more than glad to finally be here, the first naturalization ceremony in Putnam County in over 20 years. Now, it's safe to say that everyone here has uh, an immigrant story. And for all of us that are born here, we have those stories to reflect on. So we ask that please share those stories with your family as well. I myself come from a family of immigrants, and I understand the sacrifices that are made when leaving your homeland. And being here today, I think that we all feel proud and accomplished because if it wasn't for those sacrifices, we wouldn't be here today. And so we're here to cherish those memories and remember those memories uh, for future years to come. And now you all have the opportunity to participate in your community more than ever. First of all, make sure you go out and register to vote. And secondly, continue to be active members in your community because that's what makes the Hudson Valley and Putnam County a wonderful place to live. Myself and Congressman Maloney congratulate all of you and wish you the best as you move forward. And remember, please share with others your experience and your journey becoming U.S. citizens. Thank you. words and echoing what you said in terms of the need of the right to vote and going back to something I mentioned a few moments ago and that is your rights and responsibilities as citizens. Perhaps one of the most sacred rights you have is that of voting. To discuss that a little bit more, one of our commissioners of Board of Elections, Mr. Anthony G. Scanapico. There are two commissioners of the Board of Elections and I will ask Commissioner Croft to come up as they say, this is your lucky day. Congratulations to all of you. It's your lucky day because today is the last day to register to vote the vote. The <laughs> <laughs> so Commissioner Croft and I will wait for anybody who wants to register. I think they gave you uh, registration cards. We'll wait so that we can take them over to the Board of Elections and process them before 5 o'clock today when the board closes so that you will be able to vote in the, in the election next month. And I'd like to add one thing. For everybody that does register to vote, we're always looking for poll workers. And you can become a poll worker at um, any of our polling places throughout the county. Thank you. Especially Spanish-speaking poll workers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both. Gentlemen, getting towards the end of our ceremony now, before we finish with a wonderful rendition of God Bless America by Caleb Fust, you will have the retirement of the colors. Please rise.
here in just a moment. This way gives you a chance to stretch. <laughs> I'm going to point out, though, one thing when we're waiting for the, uh, for the members of the Honor Guard to retire the colors. The fact is, again, I mentioned what a beautiful courtroom this is. This is one of the oldest courthouses in the state of New York. And I can't think of a better place to be doing this ceremony than such a historic, wonderful building such as this. And it was preserved a few, year, a few years ago. It was about to fall down because of uh, many problems that it had because of its age and lack of maintenance. And fortunately, the money was put in, and this courtroom was given back to us, and this courthouse was given back to us. And it's one place which I hope you'll all have an opportunity to come see, along with our new courthouse, when we have the, when you get called as jurors, which, but don't laugh, it's a wonderful thing to do, to be called as jurors, it's a great opportunity to have, or if you have proceedings of your own in court. In that case, I think you'll, you'll find it to be a truly great and gratifying experience, and another reason why it is so unique to be a citizen of the United States. Do we have our color guard? No. In that case, what we're going to do at this point is go directly to Ms. Fuse, who's going to lead us all in God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, why before? ceremonies right now. I believe there's going to be a reception. So there's a reception here, correct? And we'll be calling everybody up to get their certificates and proclamations. Wonderful. Again, congratulations to all of you. We are in recess. Okay, we have Esther, Frida, Collins, Amoy.
Congratulations. Wilmer Miguel de los Santos. Congratulations. 
Gilberto Baron Hernandez. Thank you. 
Angel Retamoso. Congratulations. 
Martina Zima. Sorry, I didn't want to try to be rude if I tried. Martina Zima. Martina Zima. Martina Zima. Let's go. Right. 